Hi, today we are talking about electronic configuration of first 15 elements. What is electronic configuration? Electronic configuration of an element describes how electrons are distributed in its atomic orbitals, starting from the very first element in the periodic table. Electronic configuration of hydrogen. The atomic number of hydrogen is one, as we all know. Now, how to write its electronic configuration? Here, you can see this 1s. This 1s is subshell of first shell. Then you can see this 2s and 2p. This 2s and 2p are subshells of second shell. Then comes this 3 4s, 4p, 4d, and 4f are subshells of shell number 4. S subshell can accommodate only two electrons. The P subshell can accommodate only six electrons. The D subshell can accommodate 10 electrons. And the F subshell can accommodate 14 electrons. They can accommodate less than these electrons, but these all subshells are not allowed to accommodate more than these electrons. At first, we are going to bother this one as by cutting it as we need to write the electronic configuration according to energy levels. In electronic configuration, the subshells are arranged according to their increasing energy levels. So at first, here comes 1s. Atomic number of hydrogen is 1. So we are just going to accommodate one electron in electronic configuration of hydrogen. So in this way, the electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1s1. The electronic configuration of helium. Helium is the second element present in the periodic table. The atomic number of helium is 2. Here comes this pattern again. As we know, at first we need to cut this one, 1s. In S subshell, we can accommodate 2 electrons. So we are going to write 1s2 here. So we are done with the electronic configuration of helium also because we are done with accommodation of two electrons in 1s2. Here, this is the energy level, this is the subshell, and in the super subscript, you can see the number of electrons. Here, we have nothing to do with the protons and neutrons. We are just concerned with the number of electrons in electronic configuration. Moreover, electronic configuration of third element, that is lithium. Atomic number of lithium is three. Here goes. At first, now 1s, but do you remember, in S subshell, we can just accommodate two electrons. So that's why we need help of 2s here also. So now electronic configuration will be 1s2. We are done with accommodating of two electrons, then 2s1. Here, why 2s1? Because we are just left with one electron, because we need to put three electrons here. So to add one is, three already. So that's why we are putting two electrons here and one electrons here. And here we are done with electronic configuration of lithium. Electronic configuration of beryllium. Atomic number of beryllium is four. Now we to cut this at first and then this one. So one is two and then two is two. Yes, here we don't need any other energy level because we are done with accommodating of four electrons here as two add two is four. So we are done with accommodating four electrons in beryllium. So this is the electronic configuration of beryllium. Then comes the fifth one, electronic configuration of boron. The atomic number of boron is five here. Now it's time to write the electronic configuration. At first we need to cut one S, then two S, and then this 2p and then 3s. In this way, we are going to cut it. Now, write electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2i2 is 4. But we need to accommodate 5 electrons here. So that's why we need an other energy level. So we take help of 2p here. In p subshell, you all know we can accommodate 6 electrons. But here, we are just left with one more electron. So 1s2. 2s2 and then comes 2p1, 2 add 2 is 4 and 4 add 1 is 5. Here we are done with accommodating 5 electrons. Electronic configuration of carbon. Atomic number of carbon is 6. 
Carbon is a very important element as this is the backbone of all organic elements. So having said that, atomic number of carbon is six. Now again, we need to cut it. 1s, 2s, 2p, and then 3s. Now it's time to write the electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, and then 2p2. Now it's time to count the electrons. 2 add 2 is 4, and now 4 add 2 is 6. Electronic configuration of nitrogen. Atomic number of nitrogen is 7 here. 1s, 2s, 2p, and then 3s again. Now it's time to fill the electrons. 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3 here. Now 2 add 2 is 4, 4 add 3 is 7. So here we are done with electronic configuration of nitrogen. 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3 is the electronic configuration of nitrogen. The valence electrons are in P subshells. That's why we can say nitrogen is a P block element. Electronic configuration of oxygen. Oxygen is also a very important gas. Atomic number of oxygen is 8, 1s, 2s, 2p, and then this 3s. Now it's time to write the electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p4 here. Yes. Now count the number of electrons. 2 add 2 is 4. 4 add 4 is 8 here. Still, always remember, in P subshell, we can accommodate 6 electrons. But here, we accommodate 4 electrons according to our need because we are done with accommodation of 8 electrons in all these subshells. Oxygen is also a P block element because the valence electrons are residing in P sub -shell. electronic configuration of oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p4. Then comes the next one, electronic configuration of fluorine. Atomic number of fluorine is 9. Fluorine is the highly reactive element in the periodic table. Here, 1s, 2s, 2p, and 3s. Elec now, Write the electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, and this time 2p5. Count the electrons. 2 add 2 is 4. 4 add 5 is 9. So electronic configuration of fluorine is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p5. Electronic configuration of neon. Atomic number of neon is 10 here. The most important thing about neon gas is it is a stable gas. This is also called as the noble gas. These are the gases that do not react with any other element because they are also stable. Their outermost shell have already eight electrons or two electrons as they are fulfilling the criteria of duplet rule or octet rule, we can say. 1s, 2s, 2pn. 3s. Now it's time to write the electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6 here. We are not allowed to accommodate more than 6 electrons in the P subshell. So the electronic configuration of neon is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6 here. Electronic configuration of sodium. Yes, the sodium, that is the part of our common salt, NaCl. Atomic number of sodium is 11 here. Now, let's write the electronic configuration. 1s, 2s, 2p, and 3s here. Now, let's write the electronic configuration. 1s2, in S subshell, we can just accommodate two electrons. 2s2, 2p6, P subshell can just accommodate six electrons. So now, we will take an other energy level, that is 3s here. So in 3s, we are just going to accommodate one more electron. 2 add 2 is 4, 4 add 6 is 10, and 10 add 1 is 11. So we are done with accommodating 11 electrons in sodium. So this is the electronic configuration of sodium. Electronic configuration of magnesium. Atomic number of magnesium is 12. Here comes 1s, 2s, 2p and 3s. Now, let's write the electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 
two p six and three s two here. Now let's count the electrons. Two add two is four. Four add six is ten. And ten add ten. ten add this two is twelve here. So we are done with accommodating twelve electrons here. So the electronic configuration of magnesium is one s two, two s two, two p six, and then this three s two here. Electronic configuration of aluminium. Atomic number of aluminium is thirteen. So one s, two s, two p and twelve. Electronic configuration of aluminium. One s two, two s two, two p six, three s two. Now stop here. Two add two is four. Four add six is ten. And ten add this two is twelve here. Where we are going to accommodate this electron? Because we are not allowed to accommodate more than two electrons in the S subshell. Yes. Now we need an other energy level. So we will go with three p and four s here. So then comes three p. In three p, we are just going to accommodate one more electron. So this is the electronic configuration of aluminium. One s two, two s two, two p six, three s two. And then comes three p one electronic configuration of silicon. Atomic number of silicon is fourteen here. One s, two s, two p, three s, two p and four s. Now let's write the electronic configuration. One s two, two s two, two p six, three s two. Now we are done with accommodating twelve electrons here. Twelve add two s. Equal to fourteen, so we are done with accommodating fourteen electrons here. So this is the electronic configuration of silicon: one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, and three p two. Always do remember, in p subshell we can just accommodate six electrons or less than six electrons, but we are not allowed to accommodate more than six electrons in p subshell. The uh, same in the case of S subshell, P subshell, D subshell, and then F subshell. Electronic configuration of phosphorus. The atomic number of phosphorus is fifteen here. Now let's write the electronic configuration: one S, two S, two P, and three S, three P, and then four S. Now let's write it: one S two, two S two, two P six, three S two. 3p3 here. We are done with accommodating 15 electrons in phosphorus. You can see in p subshell we accommodate three electrons. So two add two is four. Four add six is ten. Ten add two is twelve. And twelve add three is fifteen. So the electronic configuration of phosphorus is one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, and three p three here. We are done with. Electronic configuration of first fifteen elements of the periodic table. So this is all about our today's lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe, as it motivates me to make more videos for you. Thank you very much.